The Galactic Empire had catalogued thousands of worlds, from the mineral-rich asteroids of the Torvac belt to the swirling gas giants of the Neblar system. But when their probes stumbled upon Earth, nestled unassumingly in a quieter arm of the Milky Way, it was with a mix of curiosity and disdain that they observed this blue and green orb. Captain Leo Marsden gazed at the holographic display of the Empire's council chamber, the voices of the galactic delegates echoing through the command room of the Terra Nova. Their tone was condescending, their laughter piercing. Earth, with its lush landscapes and chaotic weather systems, was a stark contrast to their advanced technologies and controlled environments. Why do they mock us so? murmured Lieutenant Harper, her brow furrowed as she stood next to Marsden. They see only our primitive machines and our old-fashioned ways. Marsden replied, his voice calm and reflective. But they know nothing of our resilience or the depths of our creativity. The Empire had seen fit to invite Earth to join the Galactic Council, but as a subject species, lesser and bound to the will of more advanced civilizations. It was an offer cloaked in condescension, but one that Marsden knew carried the weight of necessity. Earth needed allies if it was to survive in this vast, competitive cosmos. Prepare the crew, Harper. We're going to make our case directly, Marsden decided, his decision ringing with the finality of command. And bring Rex. Rex, a German shepherd from the military K-9 unit, was more than just a pet. He was part of Marsden's family and had proven his intelligence and loyalty on numerous occasions back on Earth. If the Council expected a circus, they would be surprised by the capabilities of Earth's creatures. The journey to the Council's space station was tense, with every member of the crew aware of the stakes. Earth's technology might not have matched the hyperdrives and energy shields of the Empire, but the Terra Nova was a vessel built on the ingenuity and determination of humanity. As they approached the docking bay, the vastness of the Council Station struck them anew. Ships of all shapes and sizes, gleaming with metallic hues and alien designs, floated majestically. Theirs was a small, rather quaint ship in this grand menagerie. Stepping onto the Council Station with Rex by his side, Marsden felt the weight of Earth's hopes on his shoulders. He straightened his uniform, a crisp navy blue that stood out starkly against the iridescent colors worn by other species. We come in peace and with open hearts, Marsden rehearsed quietly to Rex, who looked up with a wise, understanding gaze. As they made their way to the Great Hall, Marsden knew the challenge ahead was immense. To change the minds of those who saw Earth as nothing but a backwater planet would take more than just words. It would take showing them the spirit of Earth, embodied not only by its people, but also by its cherished companions. This was their moment to shine, and Marsden was determined to seize it. Captain Leo Marsden and his crew had just docked at the Galactic Council's monumental station, a structure so vast it dwarfed any human-made construct back on Earth. The Terra Nova, while technologically modest, was polished to a shine, its crew ready to represent their homeworld with pride. As Marsden walked the halls of the Council Station, he could feel the curious eyes of various species on him and Rex. The German Shepherd walked confidently at his side, seemingly unfazed by the alien surroundings. Their destination was the Grand Council Chamber, where Earth's fate as part of the Galactic Empire would be debated. Upon entering the chamber, a vast, circular room lined with seats that ascended upwards in tiers, Marsden's senses were assaulted by the cacophony of alien dialects. The Council was composed of representatives from over a hundred star systems, each with their interests and agendas. At the center of the room, a large holographic projector displayed Earth in vibrant colors, the planet rotating slowly as if on display. The Earth delegation, led by Captain Leo Marsden, you stand before the Galactic Council to present your case for membership, announced the speaker, a tall and slender being with translucent skin and piercing blue eyes. The tone was formal, the underlying skepticism clear. Marsden stepped forward, Rex beside him. Honorable members of the Council, he began, his voice echoing in the vast chamber, we come before you not as conquerors or as beggars, but as potential partners. Earth, while young in the cosmic arena, holds untapped potential and unique qualities that we believe can contribute to our galaxy's diversity and strength. A murmur rippled through the chamber. Many delegates looked amused, others intrigued. Marsden continued. Among these qualities is our bond with creatures like Rex here. He patted the dog who sat obediently, his intelligent eyes scanning the room. Our pets are not just animals, they are integral parts of our lives, providing companionship, security, and in many cases, helping to maintain our ecosystems. 
Laughter broke out among some of the alien delegates. A member of the Zilfarian delegation, a species known for their cybernetic enhancements, scoffed. You bring an animal to a council of stars as proof of your worth? This is a place for advanced beings, not pets. Marsden's face remained impassive, though his heart raced. If I may demonstrate, Rex has abilities that exemplify Earth's unique approach to problem-solving and loyalty. Traits that could be beneficial in unexpected ways across cosmic ventures. With a nod from Marsden, Rex performed a series of commands flawlessly, fetching items, navigating obstacles that Marsden had set up earlier, and even showing his training in simulated search and rescue operations. The room quieted as Rex worked, his focus and discipline contrasting sharply with the earlier laughter. As the demonstration concluded, Marsden said, Rex is but one example of Earth's philosophy, to nurture and evolve together, be it technology or natural life. The speaker, who had watched the demonstration with an inscrutable expression, finally spoke. Your point is made, Captain Marsden. We will deliberate on Earth's petition. As Marsden and Rex exited the chamber, whispers filled the air. Some were still dismissive, but others reflected a begrudging respect. Marsden knew they had begun to challenge the Council's preconceptions, planting the first seeds of what he hoped would grow into a fruitful relationship with the Galactic Empire. Back aboard the Terra Nova, Captain Leo Marsden reviewed the footage of their presentation to the Galactic Council. Despite some members' laughter and skepticism, he sensed a shift in their perception. The way Rex had executed his tasks, demonstrating not just obedience, but intelligence and situational awareness, had clearly made an impact. Still, Marsden knew it was only a small step toward gaining respect in the galactic community. The next day, Marsden was summoned back to the council chamber. The atmosphere was charged as he entered, the eyes of the galaxy's representatives upon him. This time, he wasn't just the captain of a primitive Earth ship. He was a man who had dared to challenge their expectations. Captain Marsden, while some of us find your display with the creature quaint, we require more substantive evidence of Earth's capabilities declared the speaker, his voice resonant in the high-ceilinged hall. Marsden nodded, prepared for this. With respect, what Earth offers extends beyond what you see in our machines or even in Rex. It's in our resolve, our creativity, our ability to adapt and thrive in environments you consider uninhabitable. A buzz of conversations broke out among the delegates, their various tones and clicks filling the room with a cacophony of doubt and curiosity. Marsden waited, allowing them their skepticism before continuing. To demonstrate further, I propose a challenge. A trial of adaptability and resilience in real-world conditions. Conditions where many of you have missions that fail, where Earthlings thrive. Interest peaked. The Council agreed to Marsden's challenge, intrigued to see if this human and his team could indeed prove themselves under the harsh conditions they described. The trial was set on a remote, harsh planet known for its extreme climates and unpredictable weather patterns, conditions similar to those found in Earth's more formidable environments. Marsden, Rex, and a selected team were to complete a series of tasks ranging from resource gathering to constructing a temporary shelter using only local materials. As the trial commenced, broadcast live throughout the galaxy, Marsden's team set to work. Rex proved invaluable, using his trained senses to detect hidden water sources beneath the arid surface and alerting the team to approaching storms, giving them time to prepare and secure their shelter. Throughout the ordeal, the council members watched, their initial amusement turning to admiration as Marsden's team not only survived, but managed to thrive, creating a functional base of operations in less than a week. By the time they returned to the council station, the laughter that had once echoed in the chamber was absent. In its place was a budding respect for the tenacity and ingenuity of Earth's representative and his loyal companion. Marsden knew they had won some allies today but the battle for full acceptance into the Galactic Empire was just beginning. He was ready to push forward, with Rex by his side, proving that Earth had much more to offer than what met the eye. Upon their return to the Council Station, whispers of Earth's unexpected success spread like wildfire. The trial on the harsh planet had not only showcased the resilience of Captain Leo Marsden and his team, but also highlighted the unexpected capabilities of Rex, the Earth Dog. As respect for the human delegation began to build, so too did the scrutiny. In the midst of this changing tide, a new challenge emerged. The Crichtons, a warrior race renowned across the galaxy for their combat prowess and strategic minds, issued a formal challenge to the humans. It was a tradition for new species seeking acceptance into the Galactic Council to prove their worth in various arenas, and the Crichtons saw this as an opportunity to test Earth's mettle. 
Marsden accepted the challenge, understanding the importance of this ritual in galactic culture. The event would be a series of simulated battles and strategy games held in the arena of the Council Station. It was broadcast across the galaxy, drawing a massive audience eager to see if the humans could stand against the Crichtons. As the competition commenced, Marsden led his team with a calm determination. The first few events were tough. The Crichtons were skilled combatants, their movements almost a blur to the human eye. However, Marsden had a secret weapon, Rex. Trained in advanced military tactics back on Earth, Rex's involvement was initially met with ridicule. Yet, as the games progressed, the German Shepherd's role became crucial. In one pivotal moment, during a Capture the Flag-style event, Rex's acute senses and agility allowed him to stealthily retrieve the flag while Marsden and his team held the Crichtons at bay. His ability to understand commands and work in sync with the team under high stress was unlike anything the Council had seen from a non-sentient species. The climax of the challenge was a complex strategic simulation that involved rescuing hostages from a fortified enemy base. Marsden, alongside Rex, orchestrated a plan that utilized a combination of human ingenuity and Rex's tracking abilities. Their successful mission not only secured their win against the Crichtons, but also demonstrated a profound level of cooperation between human and animal. As the final scores were announced, the chamber erupted into applause, some from genuine admiration, others from begrudging respect. The Crichtons, though proud, acknowledged their defeat with honor, nodding to Marsden and Rex as worthy adversaries. The victory marked a significant turning point for Earth's delegation. Marsden had proven that humanity was not only capable of surviving under extreme conditions, but could also outmaneuver some of the most respected strategists in the galaxy. The perception of Earth, once seen as a quaint and insignificant planet, was being rewritten. Marsden and Rex had not only earned their place, but had begun to change the Galactic Council's understanding of Earth's potential contributions to the galaxy. Following their victory over the Crichtons, Captain Leo Marsden and his crew, along with Rex, were the talk of the Galactic Council. Their ability to strategize and adapt had not only earned them respect, but had also sparked interest from several quarters of the Galactic community. Among the intrigued were the Allurians, a civilization known for their diplomatic skills and love for Earth's concept of pets. The Allurians, resembling Earth's mythological felines with their graceful movements and keen eyes, approached Marsden with a proposal. They saw value in forging an alliance with Earth, Intrigued by the humans' deep connection with their pets and the potential for further cultural and technological exchange, Marsden welcomed this opportunity, recognizing the strategic and diplomatic advantages of such a partnership. Negotiations took place aboard the Allurian flagship, a stunning vessel adorned with art and symbols of their rich heritage. The discussions were not just about trade and mutual defense, but also about interspecies education and ecological stewardship. Marsden found the Allurians' perspectives enlightening. They discussed how Earth's biodiversity, including its flora and fauna, could benefit galactic ecosystems. Meanwhile, Rex became an unofficial ambassador for Earth's animals. The Allurians were fascinated by his loyalty and intelligence, seeing him as a symbol of Earth's unique qualities. They proposed an exchange program to study Earth's methods of animal training and care, hoping to implement similar practices on their planets. As the alliance was formalized, news reached the council station of a growing threat from the Crichtons. Feeling upstaged by humanity's rise and their recent defeat in the games, the Crichton leadership was rallying for a show of force against what they perceived as a threat to their standing in the galaxy. Marsden and his new Allurian allies quickly realized the need to prepare for potential hostilities. The Allurians, skilled in negotiation, attempted to mediate the growing tensions, but the Crichtons were adamant. War seemed inevitable, and Earth, with its new allies, was in the direct path of the brewing storm. The Allurian leaders alongside Marsden strategized their defenses, integrating Earth's tactical insights with Allurian technology. Rex's role expanded, training alongside Allurian creatures, enhancing cross-species collaboration. The preparations were intense, with Marsden's leadership and Rex's abilities at the core of the Alliance's strategy. As the threat of conflict loomed larger, the bonds between Earth and the Allurians grew stronger. Together, they stood ready to face whatever challenges came their way, proving that Earth's entry into the galactic arena was not just about survival, but about making meaningful contributions and building lasting relationships. This newfound unity was tested as the Crichtons made their first aggressive moves, 
and the galaxy watched to see if this unexpected alliance could withstand the pressures of war. The tension in the galactic sector reached a fever pitch as the Crichtons, driven by a mix of pride and perceived threats, initiated their first strategic strikes against Allurian outposts. These aggressive maneuvers marked the beginning of what would become a pivotal conflict in the Galactic Council's history. Earth, allied with the Allurians, found itself thrust into the heart of interstellar warfare. Captain Leo Marsden, alongside his faithful companion Rex, now faced a challenge unlike any before. The Crichton forces, known for their brutal efficiency and advanced weaponry, posed a significant threat. However, Marsden's experiences on Earth and the alliances he had forged gave him a unique perspective on unconventional warfare. The Terra Nova was retrofitted with Allurian technology, enhancing its defensive capabilities. Marsden's strategy was to leverage the agility and keen senses of Earth's pets, integrating them into their tactical operations. Rex, trained for search and rescue on Earth, adapted his skills to reconnaissance and early warning signals in space. The first major confrontation occurred near a critical jump point, where Crichton forces ambushed an Allurian convoy. Marsden, anticipating such a move, had Rex and other trained Earth animals deploy to sniff out cloaked mines and enemy scouts. This foresight saved the convoy, turning what could have been a devastating defeat into a minor skirmish. Emboldened by this success, Marsden proposed a daring counteroffensive. His plan was to infiltrate a key Crichton stronghold using a small, highly trained team led by himself and including Rex. The operation aimed to disrupt the Crichton command network, sowing confusion and halting their advance. The mission was perilous, navigating through asteroid fields and evading advanced Crichton sensors. Marsden and his team, cloaked by Illyrian technology, managed to board the stronghold. With Rex's aid, they navigated the labyrinthine corridors, avoiding patrols and disabling security systems. The critical moment came as they planted a series of data bombs designed to erase and scramble the Crichton's battle plans. The operation was a resounding success. As they escaped, the stronghold's operations faltered, causing disarray among the Crichton fleets. This disruption allowed Allurian and Earth forces to push back, regaining territory and momentum. The victory at the Crichton stronghold was celebrated throughout the Galactic Council, with many previously neutral species now viewing Earth and the Illurians as key players in maintaining regional stability. Marsden's tactics, particularly the integration of Earth's pets into their military strategy, were hailed as revolutionary. However, the war was far from over. The Crichtons, though shaken, were not defeated. They regrouped, and new battles loomed on the horizon. Marsden knew that each victory brought its own set of challenges, and that the true test of their alliance's strength was still to come. As they prepared for the next phase, Marsden and Rex stood ready, their bond a symbol of Earth's resilience and the unexpected ways in which humanity could contribute to galactic affairs. As the war escalated, the Creighton Empire launched a massive offensive aimed directly at the heart of the Allurian territory. This move was designed to crush the Alliance before more galactic entities could rally to their side. Captain Leo Marsden, recognized for his tactical brilliance, was appointed to lead a critical part of the defense alongside his loyal companion, Rex. The battleground was a sprawling nebula near the Allurian homeworld, a location where the visual and sensor interference caused by the nebula's gases could level the playing field against the technologically superior Crichton fleet. Marsden's plan was to use this to their advantage, creating ambush points and utilizing hit-and-run tactics. As the Crichton Behemoth-class warships entered the nebula, the Terra Nova and its allied fleet lay in wait. The atmosphere was tense aboard every ship, every crew member aware of the stakes. Marsden, standing firm on the bridge, gave the order to engage as the Crichton ships reached their optimal positions. The battle was fierce, with blaster fire lighting up the nebula. The Allurian ships, nimble and quick, darted around the larger Crichton vessels, harrying them like swarms of agile predators. Marsden directed the Terra Nova into the fray, targeting the Crichton's flagship. Rex, equipped with a specially designed sensory harness, barked signals that helped navigate and coordinate attacks through the dense nebula gases. In a daring maneuver, Marsden led a boarding party onto the Crichton flagship. Rex was integral, using his enhanced senses to detect traps and hidden enemies. The boarding party fought their way to the ship's core, planting explosive devices that would cripple the behemoth, rendering it inoperative. The explosion rocked the nebula as the Crichton flagship went dark. The shockwave disrupted the Crichton formations, spreading chaos throughout their ranks. Seizing the moment, the Illurian-led fleet pushed forward, 
leveraging the disarray to decimate the Crichton vanguard. As the battle turned in favor of the Alliance, the remaining Crichton forces retreated, their morale shattered by the loss of their flagship and many of their bravest warriors. The victory was celebrated across the galaxy, tales of the battle spreading to every corner and inspiring other systems to stand up against Crichton oppression. In the aftermath, Marsden and Rex were hailed as heroes. Their bond and bravery exemplified the strength and courage of the earth Allurian Alliance. The Galactic Council, once dismissive of Earth, now saw Marsden and his crew as crucial allies in the struggle for galactic peace. Yet, even as celebrations ensued, strategic discussions continued deep into the night. Marsden knew the war had shifted in their favor, but a lasting peace was still to be negotiated. The Crichtons, though beaten, were not yet broken, and Marsden was determined to secure a future where Earth and its allies could thrive without the shadow of war looming over them. This victory had not just saved the Illurian homeworld, but had also ensured Earth's position as a respected member of the Galactic Council, a testament to their unforeseen influence and the unique strengths they brought to the galaxy. The dust of war settled over the galaxy as the last of the Crichton forces surrendered. Captain Leo Marsden stood on the deck of the Terra Nova, Rex at his side, watching as the news of the ceasefire spread. The hard-fought victory in the Battle of the Behemoths had not only ended the conflict, but had reshaped the political landscape of the galaxy. The Galactic Council convened an emergency session, with delegates from across the stars gathering to negotiate the terms of peace. Marsden, now a celebrated hero, was invited to speak on behalf of Earth and its allies. With Rex by his side, he addressed the assembly, his words broadcast throughout the galaxy. Ladies, gentlemen, and beings of the Galactic Council, we stand at a crossroads, Marsden began, his voice steady and clear. This war, though devastating, offers us a chance to forge a path towards lasting peace and cooperation. Earth, once underestimated by many, has shown that we bring more than just novelty to the Council. We bring a spirit of resilience, a willingness to stand with our allies, and a determination to seek peace, even in the face of overwhelming odds. He continued, let this moment be the foundation upon which we build a new era, an era where no world is too small to contribute, where no single species holds dominion over others, and where we, together, explore the stars in harmony. The Council listened, moved by Marsden's sincerity and the undeniable impact of Earth's involvement in the war. Negotiations proceeded with a new respect for Marsden and the principles he championed. The treaty that was drafted included provisions for mutual defense, trade, and the sharing of technology and cultural exchanges, with Earth playing a pivotal role in the new galactic alignment. As peace was ratified, Marsden and his crew were tasked with overseeing some of the treaty's initiatives, particularly those involving interspecies cooperation and exploration. Rex, too, had become a symbol of Earth's unique contributions, his role in the war not just celebrated but also studied as researchers sought to understand the bond between humans and their pets and how it could benefit interspecies relations galaxy-wide. The Terra Nova was refitted for a new mission, exploration. With the war behind them, Marsden and his crew set out to explore unknown regions of space, acting as ambassadors for Earth and the Galactic Council. They encountered new species and civilizations, each encounter further solidifying Earth's reputation as a valuable member of the interstellar community. Captain Marsden, once a simple ship captain, had become a key figure in galactic affairs. His leadership had not only saved countless lives, but had also ushered in an era of unprecedented cooperation among the stars. Earth, with its diverse cultures and cherished pets, was no longer seen as a quaint backwater, but as a vibrant, integral member of the galactic tapestry. As the Terra Nova ventured into new territories, Marsden looked back at the galaxy, a vast expanse now teeming with possibilities and friendship. Rex, ever vigilant, stood by his side ready for whatever new adventures lay ahead. Together they moved forward, not just as survivors of a galactic conflict, but as pioneers of a hopeful, united future.